Drew, I know we talked about ball security in the past. Not really a more painful lesson in ball security than the way that that game ended. Uh, what was the reaction of the team? Did they come over and say, you know, it's okay? What was sort of the reaction of the guys on the sideline? And, you know, what do you take from, from that miscue there? Um, I mean, as I came to the sideline, guys weren't like, I mean, obviously they were upset, but um, they uh, were very supportive and just told me to bounce back. Uh, going forward, um, I just got to drill into it, um, continue to try and fix it. Um, there's no excuse. You just got to hold on to the ball. It's the name of the game. When you guys have faced those miscues in, you know, in the past, speaking of you personally, you guys seem to bounce back OK. If you'd had another shot there you know, with possession, driving down, um, you know, I know that we, the, fourth, the four downs there didn't go your way. But do you go out onto the field next time with that in your mind? Or are you able to you know, put that past you and move on? Uh, I think that as a quarterback, you kind of have to approach every play as a new play. You kind of have to forget about things. Uh, and that's, that's how I approached it. Um, but uh, obviously, I'll watch the film, um, and uh, I'll try and get better. Paul, Coach Rolo said this was a game f with many opportunities to win this game, a lot of missed opportunities. Is there any one that stands out in your mind that that made the difference in this in the tonight's game. Uh, no, it's just they accumulated, and it was just came in came back and bite us in in the butt later on. So if we if we can take back a couple plays, um, the game would have been a different outcome. And hey, Marcus, you know there was a good crowd tonight. Obviously, you know people seem to be very interested in UH football again. Do you? Almost like, you know, almost had this one, you know, for the fans and when they're starting to get that interest back, you know, and now trying to win that interest back after the after tonight. Yeah, I think uh, I think right now that's not what we're worried about. You know, we're, we're worried about how to fix ourselves and, and how to get the the game to have a better outcome. I mean, I, I really appreciate the fans and I appreciate their support, but right now I'm worried about you know what we can do better. I mean, I, I hope they come out for the next game, and I, I hope they still show their support. But right now, I'm focused on how I can play better. Marcus, we saw you guys take you know, a few more shots downfield, I think, on longer passes than maybe we're used to seeing. Was there something, a matchup there, that you guys felt you could take advantage of? I think that's probably my biggest threat. Is probably down the field. You know, I have uh, a high advantage with most corners, most DBs, and I think Drew and and the the staff really noticed that I could get behind these guys the way that they were playing their defense. So we, we took some shots downfield, and, and they worked out for the most part. So I think I think I have an advantage in some some plays, and some plays I don't. So I think we just saw what was happening early in the game, and we capitalized on. It. Drew, it looked like the um, team sort of self-destructed at the end. What did you learn personally as a quarterback? And what are you going to take to the next game as we go on the road to Air Force? Um, I think that just throughout the game that I, I missed a, a lot of big plays. Um, there's a, you can start with the first drive. I took us out of field goal range. Um, probably would have been huge. Uh, and obviously, uh, little things that you guys don't see, just misreads. Um, definitely some, some plays I wish I could add back. Uh, and obviously, the fumble at the end. Um, I'll, I'll take full blame for this one. Um, but uh, I won't fold. I'll uh, watch the tape and, and try and get better. Um, as a team, we just got to gotta bounce back. Um, that's a. Uh, That'll be huge. We got to bounce back. I just want to say, I want to say that no one is putting the blame on this guy. You know, he made some big plays out there. Uh, there were some plays that were left out there by everybody. I mean, I, specifically me, I left some plays out there, and I wish I could take them back too. But no one's blaming Drew. You know, we, we stand behind him, and we know that we have, as a, as a collective, we have things to work on. 
no one's telling Drew anything bad about this game. You know, we're going to focus on how, as a team, we can get better. And so I don't want to hear anybody blame Drew.